One day, the hand of Ross McPherson, a teenager from Scotland, suddenly turned red and started hurting badly. Soon, a painful blister appeared. It was the size of an orange. This made it hard for Ross to even dress himself. The discomfort was unbearable, and he needed doctor's help to get rid of this nightmare. Turned out, he accidentally brushed his hand against the harmless-looking plant while riding his bike near his home. All this nightmare was caused by one very dangerous plant, the giant hogweed. The giant hogweed is a group of toxic look-alike plants that are known as Britain's most dangerous plant. Surprisingly, this plant is a member of the carrot family. It was originally hanging out in the Caucasus. People really liked it for its impressive height of over 16 feet and pleasant appearance. They started planting it in gardens, and then suddenly, it turned out that the plant was highly toxic. By the 80s, it was officially banned from gardens in England. Giant hogweed hangs out near rivers and canals. Recently, it started popping up in gardens and parks, too. People have spotted it all over the UK. This plant got even more attention during the recent years when everyone started spending more time in their gardens. It looks like a taller, more dangerous cousin of cow parsley or hemlock. It also has long stems and a bunch of white leaves, but its stem is pretty wide with a big, white, umbrella-shaped flower on top. To see the difference, watch out for its leaves. They look sharp and divided, around six feet in width. The stems are thick and bristly with stiff white hairs and hollow ridges. You might notice purple blotches on the stems, like hemlock, but this plant grows much taller and has fewer fern leaves. Its flower heads can stretch up to two feet. This plant's sap can really hurt you. It contains a chemical called furicumarin, which makes your skin super sensitive to sunlight. It can also cause a long-term problem called sensitization, which means that even years later, your skin can still react badly to sunlight. So if you get it on you and you go out in the sun, you'll end up with severe burns that blister and take forever to heal. People are often left with scars that stick around for life. And it's not just skin burns you have to worry about. If the sap gets in your eyes, it could even make you go blind. You should be especially careful in summer when it's most active. Remember that you can get affected by it even if you wear clothes or shoes. So just try to stay away from anything suspicious looking. Symptoms can include a rash, itching, and painful blisters. If you realize that you accidentally got hurt by this plant, go to the doctor immediately, especially if you see the blisters. First aid includes washing the area with soap and water and covering it up. There are other very toxic plants that could be hiding in your garden or local area, looking harmless and pretty. Don't be tricked by Foxglove's beauty. Hmm. This plant contains digitoxin, which is used in medicine to stimulate the heart. All parts of the Foxglove plant are toxic. If you eat the leaves, you could end up with a stomach ache, nausea, vomiting, or worse. In serious cases, it can even mess up with your vision and cause problems with your heart and kidneys. Nightshade is another one of the most poisonous plants. Don't eat it! Just a couple of its berries contain tropane alkaloids, which can be fatal to a person. This plant is a member of the tomato family. It can be found in woodlands, although it's not as common as it used to be. Its family is quite extensive, including tomatoes, potatoes, chilies, aubergines, peppers, and henbane. Despite its scary nature, we can extract an antidote for nerve gas from this plant. So while it's dangerous, it also holds a unique quality with potential medicinal uses. And finally, there's the hemlock water dropwort, also known as poison parsnip. It's a very common plant around rivers and lakes. As you can guess from the name, it's related to hemlock, another toxic plant. Hemlock is a very dangerous plant on its own. It can be fatal if eaten, and it contains five different alkaloids that can lead to severe paralysis of the nervous system. What's even worse is that it's often found in the wild around pretty populated areas. These two plants, however, live in different places and have different toxins. Every part of the hemlock water dropwort, including its tubers, stems, and leaves, contains a powerful poison called enanthotoxin, 
This poison targets the central nervous system and can cause serious convulsions. So, both of these plants are not to be messed with. These are just relatively toxic plants, but there are also those that are considered the most dangerous ones in the world. Aconite, also known as monk's hood or devil's helmet, is one of Europe's most poisonous. Just touching it can be harmful because of its potent neurotoxin. Manchineal tree is found in both Americas. This tree's sap can burn your skin. Its leaves and fruit are lethal. Castor bean is native to Africa. This shrub's seeds contain ricin, a toxin that's said to be 6,000 times more poisonous than cyanide. But it also has an upside. Castor oil can be extracted from these seeds. The seeds of jequerity bean are used in jewelry, but they contain a toxin called abrin, which is extremely poisonous. So be careful with these accessories. Oleander is a common ornamental plant. However, it contains toxins that make it poisonous. While poisonings are common, luckily, the plant is so bitter that no one wants to eat it in large quantities, so fatal cases are rare. Gimpy Gimpy is a plant from Australasia, Indonesia, and Malaysia. The plant has a funny name, but its stinging hairs cause extreme discomfort, lasting for months or even years. And finally, the potato plant. Though not as toxic as others, can be harmful if eaten. The green parts of the potato plant contain toxins like solanine and chaconine. Getting rid of toxic plants around your garden is crucial, even though it's not legally required. Especially because they could spread in the wild and you could get in trouble with the law for that. Here's what you can do to remove them safely. First, wear protective gear like gloves and face masks. Cover your skin completely and make sure that nothing can touch it. Make sure to dispose of the gear later or wash it immediately very carefully. Be careful not to let toxic plants flower. Try to dispose of them when they're small and pull them out when the soil is wet. For bigger plants, you might need to loosen the roots with a fork. It's best to leave this to professionals if it's a large area. Finally, make sure to dispose of the plant carefully. Don't just throw it anywhere, as it can spread and cause more problems. And stay on your guard in the future, as it can produce a lot of seeds that stick around for a long time. There's no need to panic if you see them in your garden. Just be careful and take action if you find it on your property. If you see them in your area, call the professionals to remove them. Luckily, fatal cases are very rare, and even if you accidentally touch the plant, you should be fine if you go to the doctor as soon as possible. But why are some plants so dangerous? It's all about chemistry and how plants have evolved over time. Plants develop toxins to protect themselves from being eaten by animals. If a plant is slightly more toxic than its neighbors, it has a better chance of surviving because animals will avoid it. Interestingly, most of the plants became dangerous to scare away large ancient animals like woolly mammoths or aurochs not humans. Because of that, these toxins often aren't fatal. The plants only wanted to make those who ate it feel unwell so animals would stop eating the plant. Now, these large animals are extinct and nobody touches these guys. Unfortunately, they've already evolved to stay paranoid, so all we hmm. can do is stay as far away from them as possible. Don't these fruits look delicious? Well, what if I tell you that they can blow up in your face? These are the fruits of the sandbox tree. It's a giant that can grow up to 200 feet and stays green all year round. It grows in tropical places like the Amazon rainforest and some parts of Africa. Almost everything about this monster tree is poisonous. It's bark, leaves, and even seeds. The tree looks unfriendly. It's covered in small conical studs. Its fruits, which look like small pumpkins, not only are poisonous, they have their own twist. When they're ripe, they burst open and shoot seeds out at super fast speeds. It's not all that bad though. Sandbox tree wood is light, so it's handy for making canoes. Long ago, indigenous people made arrow poison from its sap too. 
The wood is also used for making furniture. And the tree's seeds can be used to make biodiesel and soap. We know holly as those berries used in Christmas decorations. But the holly tree has a very long history. It was around even before the dinosaurs disappeared. Over millions of years, different types of holly trees have adapted to different environments, like mountains and forests, and some have become extinct. Today, they can still be found in many parts of the world. Holly trees have pretty red berries, but don't eat them. Only birds can do that. These berries are toxic to humans and can even be lethal. These things, although they're called berries, are actually a type of fruit called droops. They come in different colors like red, brown, black, and sometimes green or yellow. Some trees are so dangerous, they come with a warning sign, like the manchineel tree. Its fruits resemble regular green or yellow apples, but eating one could be the last thing you ever do. Every part of it, from the bark to the leaves to the fruit, contain toxins. Eating it causes throat discomfort and stomach problems. Even touching it might be risky. Forget trying to get rid of it. Anyone who tries to cut it down gets punished instantly. It shoots out a blinding ooze that can make you temporarily blind. And if that sap touches your skin, you'll end up with burns and blisters. Jatropha fruit looks like a delicious apricot-like thing, but it has another name black vomit nut. If you dare to eat it, your throat will feel like it's on fire. Then, your stomach will hurt a lot. It can even mess up your breathing and heartbeat, making you feel really sleepy and even passing out. The tree originally comes from the warm regions of the Americas, like Mexico and Central America, but now it's found in many tropical and subtropical places worldwide. In some places, people eat edible varieties of the jatropha plant. In Mexico, they roast and grind the seeds to make snacks or dishes like tamales and soups. The seeds can actually be useful. They're full of oil and other stuff like protein and sugar. This can be used to make a special kind of fuel called biodiesel. But please, don't use the oil from this plant for cooking. Check out these leaves. They're shaped like little hearts. Aren't they cute? And if you find these brownish clusters that kind of resemble pears, those are the fruit of this tree from Southeast Asia, called Pangium eduli. When you open them, there's this soft, creamy pulp. And even though it looks yummy, it's not. However, there is an edible part of this fruit. It's seeds. They're usually used as seasoning and spice in dishes, not eaten on their own. Cooking them is kind of troublesome, though. First, you have to get them out of the fruit. Next, you boil them. After that, you bury them in ash, banana leaves, and earth for 40 days. Don't be surprised. Soaking or wrapping can help wash out some of its most toxic chemicals, hydrogen cyanide. But after that stage, they become quite healthy and good for your health, packed with vitamin C and iron. Once prepared, these seeds are used in various dishes, in Indonesia, for example, they're ground up to make a thick black gravy called rawan. In Malaysia and Singapore, one of the dishes is chicken cooked with these seeds. Even tribes in Borneo use them to make a sour tasting fermented fish dish. Look at this round, shiny brown shell with the seed inside. It's surrounded by a textured husk, kind of like hickory nuts. Well, these nuts contain something called tannic acid, which is poisonous to animals like cows and even to humans. Even the leaves, shoots, and bark of this tree can be a bit toxic. The tree is called Ohio buckeye, or Texas buckeye, or simply horse chestnut. Fun fact, Native Americans had a way to eat those. They boiled the nuts to remove the poison. They also use them in various ways, like making necklaces or extracting tannic acid for leather. The tree itself isn't the best for making things because it's soft and light. And because of its big, messy fruits, it's not the best choice for a tree along the street. But people seem to really like it in Ohio. They even make a candy that looks like the nut 
dipping peanut butter fudge in chocolate. It's a popular treat, especially during Christmas and college football season. Beware of poke berries. They're those tempting, juicy-looking berries you might spot in late summer or early fall. While birds and animals can eat them without any problems, they're poisonous to people. They come in grape-like clusters of purple-black color, and the plant itself stands tall with vibrant purplish-pink stalks up to 8 feet high. But eating just a handful could be extremely harmful or even lethal. Another grape-like thing is called the Canada Moonseed Vine. It has leaves and bunches of fruits that kind of resemble grapes, but they can be extremely dangerous. To avoid this mistake, take a closer look at the seeds inside the fruit. While grapes typically have two to four round or oval seeds, moon seed fruits have just one seed in each, and it's shaped like a weird mix between a crescent moon and Pac-Man. In June, you can also find this beautiful vine in the forest called American Bittersweet or Bittersweet. The vine is quite strong and can grow long, woody stems that twine around other plants, sometimes even choking them. But the most important part is its orange fruits, about the size of a pea. Once again, poisonous to humans, but loved by birds. The plant got its name because these fruits resemble those of common nightshade, which was also called bittersweet by colonists. This helps to differentiate it from a similar looking plant called oriental bittersweet from Asia. But it's pretty, so it can serve as a beautiful decoration. Speaking of nightshade, its name is quite telling. The plant's dark cherries are super dangerous, even in tiny amounts. What's worse, it can be easily mistaken for twinberry honeysuckle or other fruits. One way to spot it is by its pointy oval-shaped leaves. It usually blossoms from June to September. Funny enough, this plant belongs to the same family as tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and potatoes. This family also includes dangerous plants like tobacco, belladonna, and mandrake. The last creepy plant is called doll's eyes. These plants have white berries, and eating them can stop your heart and even lead to the worst outcome. The berries look creepy, like a bunch of small eyeballs connected by red branches. It's pretty creepy looking, right? You can find these scary plants on the eastern side of the US and Canada. They bloom over summer. Some people grow these plants in gardens for their unique appearance, but they need specific conditions. Also, be careful around unfamiliar plants, berries, and fruits. Don't forget to check them up online.